What's going on everybody? So a few weeks ago, I dropped an entire sneaker collection video and in the comments, I asked you guys, what type of video would you guys like to see next? And surprisingly, the number one response that we got with over a thousand likes on this comment was a closet tour video. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys kinda how I break down my wardrobe. You know, I wouldn't say it's the craziest or the you know most expensive but you know it's it's decent you know I put some thought into it so I'm also gonna be giving you guys tips and advice when it comes to yours maybe some items that I recommend enough talking though let's get right into it All right guys, so we just got in here. You know, I kind of have everything organized for my dress clothes. We got jackets, sweatshirts, we got pants in the corner, and we got the t-shirts. Um, I guess we could kind of keep it in that order for the video. So one brand that I recommend when it comes to dress clothes is Top Man. We got this shirt right here. Um, I still have the tag on it because I have not worn it yet, but this one right here was 60 bucks, but I feel like it's a little bit more premium than H&M. Um, I like the muscle fit. This one is a muscle fit. You don't gotta be like super buff or anything to rock these t-shirts, but I feel like the cut is a little bit more tailored. So the muscle fit from Top Man, not a bad choice. And I also have the Top Man pants right here. I like these for the shorter dudes because they come in a 30 inch inseam all right so you don't got to spend that extra money to get them hemmed or anything so top man when it comes to dress clothes I feel like it's a little bit more premium than H&M a little bit more price here but I think it's worth it all right so jackets you know I got the uh, destroyer jacket that you guys saw in the vlog recently shout out to tan for finding this jacket right here get some damage out here yo nice jacket man <laughs> and this north face is from the uh, pack some video that we did you know everybody says that we don't keep the clothes clearly sometimes we do um what else up uh, should I talk about this one? This jacket right here. Unfortunately, I was a victim of this store on Fairfax. If you guys remember a few months ago, there was a store on Fairfax. You know, they were all over the news. Jerry Lorenzo was even like, you know, threatening to sue them and everything. Confrontational employees. That's a waste of time. Angry customers. I spent $500 on this jacket and it turned out to be fake. Give me that. All leading to a Fox 11 investigation that gets heated. They sold me this fake represent jacket. At the time, obviously, I didn't know, but it kind of pains me to see this jacket right now, man. I spent like $300 on this, but that store that I'm talking about, I think they ended up shutting down, but this is unfortunately uh, one of the items that I, uh, yeah, you know, fake jacket right here. Maybe I'll just toss this, all right? All right, so moving right along, we got this uh, baby nape, uh, kind of like a uh, snowboarding jacket, I would say. I like it because it's a little bit thicker than the rain jackets that they uh, sell. I had the rain jacket, but I ended up selling that one and got this one is thicker, a little bit warmer. Uh, what else, what else? We got some track jackets. When it comes to track jackets, unless you really care about like all the materials and the structure of the jacket, you do not need to spend a ton of money on track jackets. These ones right here, I do not spend a lot of money on. A lot of people ask me where I get them. You don't need to get like the Gucci track jackets or anything, trust me, you can't even rock those often. So we also got the minimal jacket that I had in that video. What else, what else, what else? You guys remember on the channel when all we used to wear were these uh, Gildan hoodies right here, man. What's going What's going on everybody? What's going on everybody? What's going on everybody? What's going on everybody? <sighs> These have a special place in my heart, the olive green uh, Gildan hoodie. All right, so right here we kind of have like a vintage style crew neck um, from Nike. Um, shout out to uh, Eric Kinsley. He's actually the one that hooked this up for me. I'll leave his link in the description box below. He actually sells a lot of vintage items um, for really low. Trust me, he's not trying to make a ton of money off of the items and the prices are right. He actually gave this to me, but I think he was trying to sell these for like uh, 30 bucks or something. But the uh, Nike vintage crew necks, kind of cool right now. Also, one thing I always say in my videos, when it comes to denim, you do not need a bunch of pairs of denim. You just need the right one. Kind of like a girlfriend, you know? You don't need a bunch of girlfriends. You just need the right one. When you find the right one, lock her down. I'm not gonna lie, man. These have a crazy odor. And the reason why I never wanted to wash them is because I do not want to compromise on the wash. I still want the wash, but I... Mm, I want the smell out. You guys got to let me know. Do you think I should dry clean these and will it still keep the wash that I like? These are SLPs, one of my favorite pairs of denim. Also, I want to take this time out to let you guys know that we are working on denim, uh, Richie Lee collection. They're going to be crazy quality. The fit and the wash is going to be super nice. We based it off these SLPs right here. So stay tuned for that. That is one thing I'm really excited about. <laughs> Also, 
also, you know, I got a bunch of pairs of cargos. Really big fans of uh, cargo pants. All right, shout out to the cameraman. Super close. You know, I feel like, have you seen that uh, meme of uh, Homer Simpson going back into the bush? I feel like that's what I'm doing right now. The closet's not that big. These ones right here, we're going to be dropping fall, winter. The uh, Trekker pants for Richie Lee collection as well. They kind of have these cool drawstrings with the metal tips. Really cool details in these. Also have these nudies right here. Always good to have raw denim in your uh, collection. And if you guys are a little bit more on a budget, I recommend uh, Uniqlo's raw denim. It's pretty good. So in this section right here, we got my t-shirts. We got, what do we got? Okay, Nike Lab. You know, we did the video on Nike Lab before. What else we got? Oh, this t-shirt right here I got at Complex Con when I was shooting uh, anything for the hype at the Hall and Rage Challenge. You guys have seen me uh, recommend these Uniqlo t-shirts, the $15 ones. Not every Uniqlo carries them. So a lot of people were telling me like, yo, Rich, I hit up my uh, Uniqlo. They didn't have those t-shirts you're talking about. I found out that not every Uniqlo carries these. So you just kind of got to search around. But the $15 ones, they're super thick right here. They kind of have like this vintage older feel to them. Shout out to Bape for sending over the uh, Heineken collaboration that they did. We have this uh, Fear of God Inside Out tee from uh, third collection, I think. Um, shout out to Paul for uh, selling this to me. Um, I don't really fit this that well, so if you guys are interested in this one as well, hit me up. I'll uh, sell it to you guys for how much Paul sold it to me for. We got the minimal inside out tee, some more John Elliott. This is really cool to me. I uh, made this at uh, Complex Con when I did that collaboration with McDonald's, and I made this patch right here to kind of symbolize um, being from the Northwest, Seattle. I guess at first I didn't really realize how cool it was to have official McDonald's slash uh, Complex Con merchandise with my name on it and everything. But you know, after a few days had passed, I was like, you know, that's pretty cool that it was official McDonald's merchandise. So I decided to hang this one up right here. Kind of random, but if you guys are going to go to uh, Hawaii and go snorkeling, make sure you guys get these shoes right here, all right? Because on the ground, there will be these things called uh, sea urchins. They're like these spiky little balls. And if you step on one of them, you're finito. You're done. Like, it hurts. I can't even explain to you how bad it hurt. So right after I stepped on one, I went straight to the store and we got these like water shoes. So if you guys are going snorkeling, get you some water shoes, all right? They're not Yeezys or anything, but get you some water shoes. So this brand right here is from Rude. Um, kind of like a vintage style hat. Um, they are really killing it right now, Rude. Check them out if you guys really like that, you know, aesthetics of that retro feel and everything. Also, let me show you guys a couple necklaces. A lot of people always ask me about what I'm rocking. Um, let me go grab them. So I got this super duper mini cross. I'm a big fan of like the, I guess we call them like the baby chains. You know, nothing too crazy or thick. And we also got this uh, Jesus piece necklace. One thing that a lot of people ask me about is the size of the Jesus piece. Because sometimes it looks so small. This one is actually a uh, nano size. It is the size of a uh, Tic Tac, I would say. So it is super tiny. Camera, can you get that? And I like kind of like layering them, doubling up, and then I just rock them like that. Sometimes I like the look of necklaces when they're tucked in, so you can just see them right here in the collar area. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the necklaces a lot of people ask me about. Oh, one second. Also, if I uh, double up with my chains, I like also layering with this beaded chain. It kind of gives me that like, you know, Kanye feel when he used to rock the uh, Jesus piece and everything underneath the t-shirts. So this with the beaded chains is what I uh, rock underneath my t-shirts if you guys are wondering sometimes. So you got the big beads and then you got the two Franco chains and that's kind of my, my setup, you know, nothing too crazy, really simple, not too expensive or anything. But that's pretty much it for my chains. I know a lot of people have been asking about them lately. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that closet tour. I know a lot of people wanted to see this video right here. Um, let me know down in the comments below if there are any other videos that you guys want to see. I could go even a little bit more in depth with my Supreme collection or my, you know, graphic tee collection. I didn't really show you guys everything, but I can get it more in depth if you guys want that. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We are trying to hit that one milli. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, if you guys are wondering, I do share this uh, closet with my girlfriend. So uh, that's why there are girl clothes on that side. You know, don't don't start thinking anything crazy. Um, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for checking out that video. Make sure you guys check out this video. This was my entire sneaker collection video. And uh, also, like I said, let me know down in the comments below if there are any other videos that you guys want me to do as far as my clothing goes or collection goes. I could even show you guys more um, accessories that I rock. You guys gotta let me know. That's pretty much it. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.